We have a couple of tables of Hollywood items that are still in this auction. We have a few more for next year. One of the coolest things might be, like the Maryland stuff, this cape was bundled up with this book about Ben-Hur. And if you look at their wardrobes, they look a lot like this cape. Nothing to say that it actually is one of those capes, but he did buy lots of that type of stuff. So, you all decide. Some interesting textiles. Um, one rack full of pictures this week. Uh, just a handful of box lots here and on the other gray shelf up front. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Love this huge tap and die set. Man, that thing's heavy. So a couple of PV amps down there, a little uh, first act, for, you know, a nice uh, bass, clarinet, trumpet. Love the surveyor stuff. Duck you very much. Here's a big old duck painting. And as I've said, we have furniture everywhere. This furniture is up front. It will sell up front. So make sure you are here if you want furniture because it will sell early and often in the auction on Tuesday. A uh, nice little set of His Majesty, and unfortunately there's a chip in the platter, but the rest of the pieces are nice. Some odds and ends, some games. This is a cool box. There's some really neat stuff. You know, little tin wind up, he's missed his feet. And a just fabulous alphabet plate that just chipped and cracked. I mean, it's just early, but it's a shame. Little Christmas box is pretty cute. Great little house, actually. Look at that big thing. So that's some cool little uh, fire screen. Not much in this case. This is pretty cool. California sea moss, Christmas 1898. Uh, they trust sea moss from the California trip, obviously. This is a box of cats memorabilia, including... This is right from the family, is what I was told. Photographs of all their store openings and everything. There's pictures of Truman in here, real photos. Back here of Truman at some event with the cat's owner. Uh, Armstrong, W. Reynolds, all kinds of cool stuff. Shirley Temple, a couple more Burgers and Zanes from the same collection we sold the last ones from. Nice little porcelain busts. These are cool, they've got to be actors. They came out of the Hollywood collection. Little advertising plates from Holly, New York, jeweler. <laughs> little Atmos style clock. All right, in this case, some really nice porcelain pieces of boxes, some costume jewelry, silver beads. Neat uh, baseball cards from the 50s through the 70s, I think. A little group of coins, mainly pennies. Some cool photographs. Some more contemporary Native American beadwork, but rather pretty. Box of uh, points. Some neat boxes here. The blue box down there is a um, sewing kit, actually. If you look behind, all of these stained glass windows came from the Cattle Barons building at 6th and Baltimore. There are six little ones and two of the tall ones there. Those tall ones are actually standing straight up off of my platform. So they're about five foot tall, I think, four and a half, five foot tall. In remarkably good condition throughout. There's one or two spots, I think, I saw. Uh, there is photographic proof. You go to Casey uh, Library's website, Historic Images. You can see these in the building at 6th and Baltimore. Uh, we'll probably sell the set, set of six small ones and then the pair of big ones separately. So if it, because I think the, the tall ones would be great side lights for a door. Cool pen vending machine. Great pair of uh, spool cabinets. Just wonderful looking. Good old hardware on them. Little tin fronts, iron door stops, door knocker school, nice little marble clock. Here's where it gets exciting. Sterling silver. Slant front cases full of nothing but sterling silver. Huge set of Victoria, nice size set of Strasbourg, and then a really nice little set of Gorm Imperial Chrysanthemum. The bullet front is Marcus and Company, high dollar set, high dollar stuff from New York. All these bags and groups are bundled together. They all they have what they're on. As far as what we're selling there, a couple of nice sterling napkin rings, beautiful sterling topped perfume bottle, cut glass. This case will be full by Tuesday. 
Uh, we're still working on this jewelry that came in Wednesday. You all remember the last group of silver we saw with all the good Georgia stuff. Well, this is this jewelry that came out of it for the most part. There's other consigners here, but there are one, two, three, four, five, six gold watches, gold chains, gold bracelets, diamond earrings, um, stones here and there, uh, some nice costume. It's a piece of Hobe, I think, that Spanish jade piece. Um, on this shelf, a couple of boxes of gold earrings. You kind of broke those up, divvied them up that way. Little baby rattle, super cute little tall sterling baby rattle. Some marcasite jewelry, uh, some Native American stuff down there. We brought down the big case. Uh, the platinum and diamond bracelet is just stunning, 1920s. The platinum and 14 karat with the diamonds necklace, the other deco piece again, just stunning. Native American pieces, lapis lazuli, more 14 karat. This is cool, unrelated, 1960 All-Star Game press pin, KCAAs. More jewelry, gold. Uh, this is, a, I think it's a platinum band, uh, dated 1925, a little eternity type band. Um, this is one of my more favorite pieces here, beautiful sapphire and pearls, and it's 14 karat. The Hobe set is just spectacular. Hopefully that shows up better in the pictures. This is a men's ring. Beautiful. Just look at the garnets in there. Gold pieces there. In the case, there's some tiff several pieces of Tiffany. The uh, watch, the band. Um, there's a couple more pieces. The pair of candlesticks in the back are Tiffany as well. Just beautiful piece of Tiffany sticks. Uh, this lady here is sterling with Marcus Sight. There's no marks on him at all, but they're both just fabulous pins. And of course, you know, what uh, collection would be complete without a couple of 14 karat gold packet knives? Again, furniture up front. I also still have uh, four double strands of pearls. They all have 14 karat gold clasps on them. Sweet little desk. Bradley and Hubbard. Cute little curved glass piece here. Oyster plate. Probably the best single piece of furniture is this beautiful Victorian dresser. Just look at the condition, the color, the marble's in great shape. Just beautiful. And just, a, just a stunning piece. And the centerpiece on there, Italian, we believe. There are no marks on it anywhere. If you watched the Antiques Roadshow last Monday night, you saw this on TV during the pledge drive. Thank you all for... Thank you to all those who supported and called in. But she is pretty. Nice little collection of paperweights. Several are signed. Uh, and then they're just, I mean, the colors in this little guy are wonderful. And he is signed 1981 on Eisenhardt or something along those lines. Uh, this one here is cool. And again, that one, is that one signed? Yeah, Lloyd, Tom Bloyd. I think he's a Kansas City glass artist, actually. Some really cool pieces. Some nice odds and ends in pottery. Cloisonne piece back there. Rookwood cups and cup and saucer, the ship's pattern. Nice little Donald Duck Fisher Price. Cool toy. Tony doll. Again, there's furniture lineup. We've got three buffets up front here, so make sure you come on down here to some furniture. It will start selling early. Nice Victorian clock. Love the uh, advertising piece for Prudential. The um, <laughs> that is still not done setting up. The Yadro Nativity set just got moved over here while we were hanging the windows up high. Didn't want to knock them over while we were hanging them and then let them hang here for all day while we made sure that the wiring was all good and it's been hanging for several hours so we're pretty confident they're going to stay through the weekend and through next Tuesday. Here's the back side of the cases. And there are several more pieces not here yet that will be uh, I'm going to take and have a jeweler friend of mine look at and see uh, what exactly there is a beautiful Tiffany ring uh, with an amethyst uh, there's a big ring with a huge green stone we're not sure what exactly it is so some things like that that we haven't gotten through yet again it's just truly an exciting auction it's probably going to be 10 or 10 30 by the time we're done and uh then we'll have the giveaways at the end. You always always have some nice things to give away at the end of the auction for the end of the year. And this year will be no exception to that. 
I have a special surprise for everybody around 9.30. Uh, so make sure you're here for that. Anybody here is going to have a nice little treat for the evening, I believe. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on Tuesday. Have a great weekend. Hope your holiday season is kicking off well and progressing nicely and that you're getting everything done that you need to and you're not being too harried. We will see you Tuesday.